What is up guys, Jeffrey Gaming here and welcome to the Japanese Grand Prix, the latest round in my Lewis Hamilton Challenge. If you haven't seen already, check out the previous three races, especially because there have been three victories for me from the back of the grid, so it's been a great performance, but we're here at Suzuka, which is one of my weakest tracks and I don't have a history of any good performances here, so I think this one's going to be a tricky one, especially to win the race. I'm just looking for some solid points and hopefully to still beat Nico, because in the standing time, 22 points behind him and it's going to be very tricky to win this title, but I'm going to give him my best shot. As you can see, here is the second half of the grid, pretty standard really, and we want to be looking at the top 10. Ferraris have been on pole for the past three races, so let's see how it ended up. And it is Vettel third, Raikkonen second. Rosberg just beats Raikkonen to pole position, but hopefully a Ferrari can get ahead at the start. So, in terms of strategy, I think it's pretty much just a standard two-stop race. I'm not sure why I've been put on Prime, so... We'll change that to options to get the optimum start, even though the one race I did start on Primes actually had a pretty good race overall. So, onto the grid for the start of the Japanese Grand Prix. Let's do this. So the lights are lighting up. 4-5 and the Japanese Grand Prix is off. We get a pretty average start. We're sliding. Yeah, we're not going to get past anyone with starts like that. So we're nowhere near the manners. So we'll have to get them into turn one. Pretty cautious start up the inside as they go side by side, trying to give them enough room to battle and do whatever they need to do. Well, we've gained two positions, we're on the back of the two McLarens, but it's very tricky to overtake in these S's. But we're going to try it to go around the outside and then the inside of Alonso. We make slight contact with Button, he seems to be incredibly slow, and Alonso gets back past him and we fight back and <laughs> get 17th place back. It looks like Rosberg's in the lead, sadly. So we're going to have to try and just fight our way to the front, up the inside and button into Degna 1, that's a risky move. You don't see many cars side by side through that. Up the inside of Grosjean and Degna 2, didn't expect that. Perez and Sainz side by side ahead into the hairpin, that should get very interesting. We go up the inside of Sainz, think about Perez as well, surely we can't get two of them. Perez surely will beat us on traction, he does, we get a bit of oversteer, but we're, at least we're up to 14th. We've, we've become a bit detached from the main pack. So we need to dispatch of Perez and get ourselves up there. We're having a quick look into Spoon, but uh, I don't think we're going to get a move done here. But in terms of straight line speed, uh, we should have enough straight line speed to get past the likes of Perez. Even though we have the same Mercedes power unit, we should use the Sipstream coming into 130 yard. I don't think we'll be going for a move before, but into the final chicane. Yeah, you can see the speed difference there, around the outside. Outbreak of Perez, he's still there though, so we've got to give him a bit of room. Go pretty deep, but we get the move done. Up into 13th. And now, because of that, uh, not the best exit out the chicane, Perez is coming back at us. So we have to go defensive, the Force India's fighting back. Trying to go around our outside into turn one. We should be able to defend from the inside, but we've taken far too much speed. We've got off. We're heading this closer and closer to the wall. We've touched the wall, but we come and straight back onto the track a bit dangerously. A warning for corner cutting. Really? I nearly said a yay, but what? How is that corner cutting? I went so far off the track. We've, we're down to 16. I was thinking it's, it was qualifying from quite a while ago and just took far too much speed into turn one. Defending from Perez as well. So, yeah, this is not going to help us in terms of trying to win this race. And I'd say it's highly unlikely already, even though we're only on lap two. Because look at us compared to Rosberg on the mini map. As we go for a move on Grosjean, but we go down to gear two there for some reason. A uh, bit of a strange decision, but oh, we're going to throw it up the inside of Grosjean. Pretty late, so we've gone quite deep. We're touching the grass. It's been a very scrappy start. Grosjean nudges us further onto the grass. There's a yellow flag. I saw two cars off the track there. That wasn't two McLarens, was it? No, it can't be two McLarens once again. I'm sure I just saw them both in the wall. But we're closing on Grosjean. Exit of Spoon is going to be key. Grosjean seems to be slow on the entry. Gets a decent exit, but I think we should be able to get the move done. And try and recover. This has been a very poor start from our very high standards. Up the inside of Grosjean before 130 yard. There we go. That is 15th position. But we've got a lot of work to do to get some big points in this race. So there's a few replays from the uh, first couple of laps. This is us just going off the track. Luckily, we just tapped the wall, which wasn't too bad. We rejoined just ahead of the McLarens. Slow-mo, yeah, hit the main part of the tyres, so there wasn't really going to be any damage there. 
on board with Perez. So we're going to go wide. I think he actually goes wide as well. Yes, he does. So we reach on side by side with Sainz. And they, they're going to get a bit feisty here. Sainz forces him off the track, but side by side through the access. This is pretty good driving. This is, I think it's Maldonado following. And the battle ahead is just pretty epic. But you can see in the left mirror, the Mercedes just come from nowhere and trying to go around the outside. But this is the incident. So, I go down up, up the inside of Grosjean. This is Jensen, who makes a little bit of contact with Grosjean. Moves across on his teammate. No. McLarens, what are you doing? You've got so many struggles and then you do something like that. Yeah, Jensen just turns ahead of his teammate and puts them both in the wall. And yeah, that's not even the worst of it. These two have both pitted since. And they're at it again. Side by side into turn one. What's going to happen here? The car goes wide. And Jensen's fighting. He's fighting and... One in the wall again, one spun around. The McLarens are an absolute disaster. What is Jensen doing here? He really doesn't like Fernando, does he? So yeah, I think it's safe to say they won't be getting any points this weekend. This is on board with Fernando, and he's broken his front wing. And yet, that still isn't the end of it. Seconds later, Jensen, Jensen fights back. What is wrong with Jensen? What is he doing? Oh man, the AI programmed so re retardedly. That's definitely not a word, but oh well. Closing in on Perez, let's get back to our race. Screw the McLaren for now. Up the inside of Perez into Degna 1. He goes on to the gravel. Two cars through there is never going to work. And we're going to go after for signs now. Need to make up these positions very quickly indeed. Through 130R, signs is pretty slow there. So we're going to go out around the outside. He's squeezing us, but we're going to go around the outside in the chicane. And we've got it done. Nice move there. But there's a bit of a gap to the main pack once again. After all the incidents of the first three laps, it took us a lap and a bit to close in. There's a big gaggle of cars ahead. There's a huge gap to the leader, so it's going to be a real struggle. There's a yellow flag ahead. What's got? Hulkenberg's gone incredibly slow. I think he's slow for the yellow flag. There was no damage there, so that's an easy position. What's the, what is this ahead? There's a Kvyata off. Grosjean spun. We've got to skip the chicane. Uh, illegal overtake as well on Kvyat, but he had no front wing, and he's gone into the pits, so it's not so bad. We gained a position. We overtook a Sauber off the track, but it had to be done. And yeah, it all started from this. That's... Alonso, I think it was. Yeah, Alonso into the back of Grosjean. And now Grosjean got to take, gets taken out by Kavia. That's what was ahead of us. You'll see me fly past here. It's absolute carnage from the AI. What the hell is going on? This seemed to be just 10 times worse than they used to be. And there's more. There's more contact. This is Raikkonen going incredibly slow. He's got a puncture. Verstappen slows down. I overtake him. And we're up to 8th. Five laps in, it's been a destruction derby, and it doesn't even include me for once. It's absolutely incredible. We're on the back of Ericsson, who's up in seventh, which is crazy in itself. So we're going to go around the outside into now nah, before 130R. He's still hanging it there, but we break, we don't break, but we uh, just get the move done up into seventh. Maldonado's in sixth. What a race he's having. He stayed out of the destruction for once, and we did eventually close back up. Oh, well onto the back of his car bit of oversteer sliding off the curb but a move up the inside into the hairpins inevitable we're just like Kobayashi from a few years ago we slice ahead of him and we've got the move done we are very far behind the top five they're really close together I don't know if we've gone out outside shot of top five Bottas has pitted very early which suggests he's going for a three stop I'm going for a two stop I'm going to go onto the option tyres here so that should take me to around lap 15. We're getting hell for someone, aren't we? It's Maldonado. And we come out in 7th place. On the options, we're going to have to try and catch up to the top 6 if we can. But I'm pretty sure Bottas is pitting an extra time than us. And we're closed up onto the back of Ricardo on lap 10 here. And considering we're against a Renault power unit, we should pretty easily get the move done. Not sure if it'll be before 1.30R. No, I think we'll have to wait. It's getting closer and closer. We're actually going to go for it up the inside. We've got it done. What a move. And we've got great pace at this point. And we're closing the top four in, but not a lot happened in that stint, really. We did get closer and closer, but not close enough. The tyres did go off. I lost a bit of pace. And now this should be our final pit stop onto the prime tyres. 12 laps on these might be a bit of a stretch, but... 
we're going to have to manage them. We have gone for the undercut to try and overtake Massa. We've come out the pits just ahead of Verstappen and these tyres feel horrible. They really do. There's no grip at all. I'm struggling so much. And then Verstappen behind me actually closes in. I'm just sliding everywhere, just not feeling these tyres. I know they're not up to temperature, but still, I'm definitely not going to get the undercut like this because the start of this lap has been pretty horrible. Just proving that there. And at the end of this lap, Ricardo pits, we've re-overtaken him, Massa has pitted, he's just ahead of us, obviously he's gone on to the primes as well, so as he gets his tyres up to temperature, we could have an outside opportunity of getting a move, so in the S's he is pretty slow, and we're closing and closing, he's having the same struggle I had a lap ago, so we're going to get, I think we're going to get right up his grill, and uh, potentially go for a move, I might try and set him up for the hairpin if I can, yeah we're right behind him, I don't think there's any space here yet to get the move done. Yeah, we can't really get close enough. It might have to save it for the hairpin. Close, close. We could go for a move there. A bit risky. But if we get a good run here, then the hairpin's definitely an option. He's pulling away, actually. So we're going to have to go for a lunge. Up the inside, in the hairpin. We've broken incredibly late. No, we've messed it up. We're off the track. Don't hit the wall. We've kept it out the wall. That reminds me of Perez on Hamilton from, I think it was 2012. Perez actually retired from that incident. But that was a bit of a stupid move thinking about it. But we did catch back up to Mass. It took quite a few laps. I didn't really have the greatest of pace. Ahead of him, we've got two back markers side by side. One of them's a McLaren. I think it's Jensen once again. He's trying to go on the inside of 130. Yeah. Oh my god, no. We've hit the back of Massa. Massa broke very early, I think, to avoid. Oh no, it's Alonso ahead. We've got no front wing. We've got a pit again. This is so frustrating. We're going to lose so many points to Rosberg at this rate. Luckily it's at the end of the lap, but we're going to put on the option tyres, this is going to be very tricky to get any decent points. Oh, it's so frustrating, after the back of three wins, Massa just broke so early. I kind of understand it to avoid the two cars ahead, but what were they doing side by side into 130R? I just didn't have quick reactions there, but you don't really expect it in, into that corner, I just smash into the back of him. So annoying. We'll see on board with Massa, he does lose a lot of speed here. He sees the incident ahead. I kind of understand why he's breaking. This is ahead. Alonso's struggling to overtake a manor, for God's sake. What is he doing going on the grass there? He lets Massa through here. And then you're going to see me in a second. Just totally cut across the track. I couldn't slow down for the chicane. There I go. Hi, how's it going? So we're coming out the pit in sixth place. That's very annoying. Can we catch Ricardo? I think it's going to be very tricky. I know we're on the faster tyres, the primes aren't great around here, so we could gain like 2-3 seconds a lap. There we go, AI once again, clearly programmed to cut the corner on 130R. Great game, great game, Cole Masters. But on to lap 26, we just couldn't catch up to Ricardo. This is a back marker ahead, and I was just contemplating, finishing in 6th place, but no. What is this ahead? It's Daniel Ricciardo, he's spun out. What? It's Rosberg! Rosberg's got no front wing! And we've got an illegal, illegal overtake on Stevens, but key! Rosberg is not in the lead anymore. This is unbelievable. This is fantastic for my championship. We're going to close in. Oh, this is awesome. Rosberg dominated most of this race. We were miles behind. We were going to finish in, like, sixth place. And how the tide has turned. Grosjean's got a puncture, I think, again. He's had a destructive race as well. Him and the two McLarens. This is what happened to Rosberg. He tried to lap Kvyat. And the Kvyat puts him on the wall. After going onto the grass. This is fantastic. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much. This could win me the championship overall. So this is Rosberg going really slow. Ricardo hits the back of him. And then hits him again and spins out. That is unbelievable. What is he doing? The AI. Once again, this has got to be one of their most destructive races. They were the same in Monza. This is incredible. They've got serious problems. They, they need, it makes it more enjo enjoyable, but there needs to be a patch. Come on, Codemasters. But we're, it's only fourth place, but it's a brilliant fourth place. We're coming home. Vettel's won this. We're going to get 12 points, but that's more points than Rosberg. That is the main thing. We've closed in. The gap at the top is shrinking. We got, I, uh, I'm so excited to see the standings now. So, a Williams on the podium. There's two, Bottas and Massa just ahead of me. Ricardo recovered to fifth. Raikkonen recovered to seventh after his uh, broken front wing. There's a penalty for Nasa. Two for Rosberg. He finished at ninth. We've gained 10 points. This is brilliant for the championship. 
Oh, I really can't wait to see the standings. That was a... It seemed like the race was petering out, but the AI just made it so exciting there, so... Yeah, if you did enjoy that, please leave your like. Alonso, three laps down. What a race he has. So, I just want to show how many incidents there was here. How destructive the AI were. A few penalties, a lot of warnings. It's just one of them races. They just spontaneously combust. That's what the AI did. So, I want to see these standings. Very excited. It's 12 points. The battle is on. And actually, Vettel's only 61 points behind. So he's got an outside shot, but uh, I think it's mainly going to be between me and Nico. But yeah, he's miles ahead of Raikkonen now. Bottas and Ricardo still battling for fifth. And as we scroll down the leaderboard, there's the minor, minor scoring in the constructors. We've won it. We really have. So if you have enjoyed that race, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And next race will be the Russian Grand Prix. And I hope to see you in that video. Goodbye, guys.